Farah, what is your point of order? My, <laughs> my point of order, Mr. Speaker, is actually to inform my colleagues on both sides. We only have the dignity we have right now of being called Waheshimiwa because we are in a dignified, august institution. The biggest indignity you can bring in this house is for members of parliament to be on their feet when the speaker is on his feet. Whatever the issue is, whatever the debate is, you can raise it and say, was it in order for a honorable member to do ABCD? You can interrogate and debate anything that is there in the house. But for God's sake, when the chair stands and the speaker says order, you can't have both sides of the house here pointing fingers at one another and behaving like this, I don't know, in a football match? In the FA, in UK and other places, because in Africa, we don't even do that. And I want to call on and beg to begin with the two leaders of this house, the majority leader and the minority leader, to please show a good example in this house for the rest. Please, for God's sake, don't address a gallery outside this house. Let us debate the future of this country in this house because the future is vested in our hands. It's not vested in the hand. There's the executive of Moi, sorry, of, of, of Ruto or of or Raila. The future of this country is vested in our hands. We are the ones who will determine how this country is going to govern for posterity. So for God's sake, more than anything else, when both sides arise and the speaker is on his feet, and you're pointing fingers at one another, led by none other than the leaders of the house on both sides. That is a very bad example. The speaker says, ordinarily, he would, want not, he would not want to spend that. Personally, having had an experience as a deputy speaker, I would not hesitate to send everybody out of the house, if not for another reason, to maintain the dignity of this institution, because other people will come and will take over from that. So let us have, I do understand that we have issues, I know that the minority is a minority in its own right here, and the majority cannot determine who heads the minority or who does not head. It's a fact of life. That's why it's called the minority leadership. You are the majority. The debate, Farah. Order. Okay. I have closed that debate.